Well, good day, drivers. Welcome back to American Truck Sim. So there's only 252 people on tonight as I'm on playing, which kind of sucks. But anyways, the uh, new state comes out. It gets real busy. Oh, we're on the mountain. I forgot about that. New state comes out. We're all busy. And then all of a sudden, uh, nothing. I don't remember parking here, though. Oh, no, we're not in the mountain. My bad. No, we're not in the mountain. We're at this place here. Just above Redding. Mountains. The mountains. Way up there somewhere. Okay, then. So, we... We, yeah, we have to probably, well, I don't know where the thing is actually. It should be just up here somewhere. Oh, no, he's parked on it. Never mind. Gotta back her up. Let's see what's available to come from here. Trailer doing some weird flips or something back. Oh no, no, it's an excavator. Never mind, never mind. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, this will take us up to the mountain area. So that one. So well that one. Well, I think we'll do that one's. Well, actually, this one's worth more money. Let's do this one. Take job. Now, hopefully, it's not. Oh no, it's okay. Time to hit the road. All right. Thousand and twenty seven kilometers. Twenty seven kilometers to be in the driveway here. <laughs> Get ready to turn right. Oh. So it's actually been a wee while since I've been on the game here. Turn right. That's what stop on the map here. Uh, it's been a wee while since I've been on the game here, so I would imagine we still got problems with the um, speed, speed stuff. So it looks like Highway Five all the way up. Pretty much, and it turns into while well, five goes up this way, and we'll go on to the 101 after. That's pretty cool. Still haven't even been to San Diego yet. Oh man, we haven't done this whole bottom quarter yet. That's kind of funny. speed stuff is in. There was an update though when I came into the game so maybe they readdressed it and taken that speed out or just increased it so I so imagine there'd be a lot of people upset with the speed stuff. Which we won't really know until we get over to Highway 5 here to really get on her. But... Thank <laughs> you. 
speed limit here, it looks like. Couldn't go any faster there. It's not looking good. It's not a game setting. It's in the game now. That's the way it is. Maximum speeds. 101 here. That's, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, never mind. I just went faster. I just switched gears. Sorry, my bad. But it's probably 130 maxed out, though. So, once we get on to Highway 5... Stay right. Go straight. Didn't even see that guy coming up. <laughs> kind of got stuck behind the bridge here. I couldn't see him. My uh... oh, there's double Never mind. scales here. I'll find a new route. This way. I think I'm gonna adjust my volume while I'm in here too. I think I remember a comment there saying that the truck was too loud. Uh, let's yet. Okay, let's just go in here quickly and options audio. Uh, sound effects volume. 
Maybe bring this down a little bit. Enable. Oh yeah, there's all our stuff there. Uh, master volume, maybe we'll bring it down a little bit too. Okay. I'll make the truck a little quieter, but... Partially, the uh, sound can be a little wonky. I, I got this, uh, oh, I can't even tell you what kind it is now. It's got pretty good sound, but I don't think the microphone's too great on it on this headset I'm using. But anyways, might have to change headsets again. Gaming headset gets a little, little better with a better microphone to it. I'm really super happy with it. It doesn't sound tremendously great. Medford or Meadford? Meadford. Meadford. <laughs> if anybody knows, let me know. Everybody's horny tonight, holy cow. Can you believe that? Some nights come on and everybody's all grumpy and tonight everybody's all horned up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get your mind out of the gutter. So yeah, I want to maybe soon redo a new truck for us to drive in this in the company. I've got lots of empty slots that I can fill in with the driver to help us make more money back. I don't know which one we're going to build yet, though, but um, I might go with a Peterbilt or maybe a Volvo or something. I don't know. Something. eventually get one of the pilot cars again too because they were kind of fun now that you can actually take a little trailer a little camping trailer whoa where am I going I don't want to go down there oh, that's a oh yeah this is that uh, really big uh, rest stop here things massive you just get over this lane have a look here gas and everything in there it's like a Real big one. Big rest stop. Gonna crash. Gonna crash.
right outside. 7.20, almost a.m. Oh, yeah, I don't have to stop at this one. I'll probably have to stop at the next one. Bypass lane. It's a trailer park down there. Sweet. Trailer park. something that looked and felt really durable because I use it a lot you know, like the ear pads I like the ones that your um, ear fits right in so you get padding around the outside of your ear uh, it's got to be comfortable it doesn't want to be you know too squishy tight when you got it on so it gives you like a migraine <laughs> um, microphone I like the so that you can hear I'm probably moving it back and forth here now it's getting quieter and that's louder I like to have it uh, really flexible. So that means, you know, if it gets caught on something, it's not going to snap, break off, or hard plasticky stuff that are going to break, right? So um, I had uh, one I had before, the headset I had before was really good, but the, uh, uh, the little arm for the for the microphone was hard plastic, and I actually broke it off at once, started glued it back on, it broke again, I glued it back on again. And, and then it was just, and all of a sudden, like, the ear pads just went, <gasps> they were gone. It's like, uh, they were good yesterday, and all of a sudden, they're like, this material just, like, went weird or something. I don't know, if my ear goo goobies or something, I don't know, but whatever. Um, and they were a Shizen, or whatever they call them. I can't remember how, what the, how do you pronounce that. It starts with a Shizen, or Shizen, or something. They were, they were pretty good, actually. They were very expensive, too. When I got them, they were, geez, like 350 bucks, and they were really good. And uh, they were the actual um, three-and-a-half earphone jacks for the microphone and for the earphones. But the one I'm using now is actually USB, and I don't know whether that's so good. USB has so many different uses. I don't really know if it's very good for audio. Good for data transfer, but not really for audio stuff, so I'd rather plug it into the actual plug in the back of my motherboard, but anyways. Stay left. The way she is, so. But I think I'm going to have to go earphone, ear, ear, earphone head shopping, game headphone shopping soon again. Get something else that's a little better, maybe spend a little more money on it again. These were like $99, these ones I got. Uh, I'm just going to pull my headset off here for a second. I'm going to look at the name on it. Hang on. Uh, there's no name on these ones. I, I can't remember what they were now. But actually, hang on. Maybe they're on the top band. Nope. Nothing there either. So I, I can't remember what they were now. They weren't terrifically expensive. So they, they uh, give you kind of a crappy microphone. Although the ear... The ear microphone or ear, ear speakers are good. They're decent. They're comfortable. That's what I liked about them. They felt comfortable in your head, right? So. But I didn't know the microphone issue was the microphone issue until I actually got home and started using it for recording. And I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound too good. Uh, this one too. My other ones that I had that fell apart. When you talked into the microphone, you couldn't hear yourself talk through your ear things where these ones sort of kind of do but I have to get really close like this and, and then I can hear myself but anyways that was pretty much like swallowing the microphone <laughs> but uh, yeah my other ones didn't do that so that was kind of a nuisance because it was kind of like hard to sort of talk I found I had to kind of keep one part of my ear thing off and um uh, kept one one ear off and I could kind of hear myself talking and it was a little bit a little bit 
better then, but yeah, I got a, I kind of like that feature, but it actually worked a little better. I can actually hear myself talking, which is, it makes a difference, you know, you try, try putting your fingers in your ears and try talking, it's, a, it's like that. It's really kind of awkward feeling. Kind of almost felt like I was deaf. You know, talking, I can't hear anything, but <laughs> anyhow, yeah. So what do you guys like for uh, gaming headsets? And it's got to be ones that your ears fit in. I, I absolutely do not like the ones that push on your ears and they just kind of, no, they're terrible. you got to have the ones that are big enough for your ear to fit in. It's more comfortable because I find if I have something that's pushing my ears for too long, I get like a, like a neck ache from it. It's sort of like a headache. It's really weird. Uh, Sony's probably probably a good brand still. They used to be really good. Uh, I guess it all depends too much you want to spend, right? If you want to spend $100 on a set of uh, gaming headphones, or you want to spend like $1,500, I'm sure you can get a good set for that. But it's like, really, really. is that $1,500? Like that's just I'm just quoting. I, I haven't actually seen this like $1,500. I'm sure they're out there, but is a $1,500? Set a gaming headset going to last you any longer than like a three hundred fifty dollars set? Probably not. Probably not. So you can almost spend. I think you can almost spend too much money on something like that. Stay right. Oh, okay, Frederick. Oh yeah, we're going to be going to this one on one here. turn there all of a sudden. We have a store not too far from me, probably about 35, Stay maybe left. 40 minute drive. It's called Canada Computers. It's a really good store. It is... It is basically a. S Did he say stay left? I hope so. Because I went left. Uh, it's basically a store where you go in, grab a shopping cart, go up and down all the aisles, and you come out with a whole computer you can build. You know, it's like you do the motherboards, you do the CPU areas, you do the the RAM areas, you do the hard drive areas, you do the computer cases, the power supply, all that stuff, video cards, and you come out with you know whatever. And you can build yourself a computer. So it's a really awesome store. Some most stores in town here that we have is like, well, I can order something for you. It's like, geez, thanks. Thanks for having stuff in stock, but our stores are so small here in town that they just wouldn't push the stock fast enough anyway, so they wouldn't really want to get Stay too much. Stay left. I can fully understand that. You know, in this store, they keep all the latest and greatest, right? So you can go and, well, maybe not the brand, 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 brand new stuff out, but you can get, like, you know, video card that's within a couple of weeks old, probably, maybe a month-ish old. And, uh, you know, be fairly current with your stuff. I got quite a few parts for my computer from that store, actually. The motherboard, CPU, and stuff come from there, the RAM, I think did buy the video card before all this upgrade I did on my computer here down there as well. The GeForce GTX 10 and 1080 Ti Stay left. Duke Edition. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, no. Stay left. Okay. Holy cow, we're almost there. 293 kilometers left. Not too bad. We've got a, a bridge coming up here. going through it. <laughs> yeah, drawbridge. It's still green, so that's good. Because it'll change and go up for me, but the guy that comes up behind me will just sail right through because it hasn't changed for him. I don't know, they got to fix that. 
got to make it like the same for everybody. Long view. We haven't been to Long view yet. Stay left. I haven't even discovered Long view. I don't think. Well, we should zip in, but I'm not going to worry about that today. straight. Sneaky, huh? There we go. Oh, what, a f whoa, what would a fine be for that if you got caught actually doing that on the road? <laughs> oh, look, here's another one. Looks like that's downhill. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Yeah, we just blew through a stop sign. What did I say earlier? We're going to obey go everything? Straight. Stay right, and then exit right. Exit right? Oh yeah, this is going on to the 101 here. Exit right. Stay right, and then exit right. Oh, really? Port Angeles. That sounds about Exit right. right. A single lane. Oh, dangerous. It is really dangerous when you stop and think about that. Why on earth do we drive on the roads with like maybe six inches between cars that are going one way and going the other way? Opposing traffic. That just sounds dangerous. Yes, I know we've been doing it that way for like eons, forever. There must be something else we can do too. You know how many, how many less traffic accidents there probably would be if we didn't drive on roads like we're on right now. Put like something down the middle. I don't know. It would cost more, of course. Yes, like a barricade or something of some sort, where you're at least going to smack into the barricade. Boom. Go and then, straight. You know, not come across oncoming and crash and it kills people. Right. I mean, that does seem like a silly idea driving, opposing each other like this. But I guess if they did, like, this lane here, and then the other lane, going the other way, like, over more, it would cost more, more clearing, you know, but they seem to do all right on the major highways. It's all going one way, right? And there's a big buffer of whatever bush, a 
road or you know they leave a bit and then uh, the lights go the other way so it's like why can't we just do that everywhere I guess some places just isn't room too that's the other problem right where they build a highway they make that for that before it gets all built up and stuff it just doesn't honestly make too much sense to me why we do it this way convenience I guess right Oh, we got some crazy roads coming up here. We better slow down a bit. We are almost there, though. 28 kilometers. Wow. I think we're just going to do the one delivery today and uh, continue from here our, on our next video. Unless there's something really cool, awesome here, but I, holy jeez, that's a freaking NASCAR turn there, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, unless there's something really awesome, cool that we need to deliver. Maybe we'll do it, but... Now, why does it want me to turn right? Oh, I see. Yes, okay, that makes sense. I forgot. I have been here before. It's like a... around the barricade thingy. Go straight. And I turn left here. I gotta turn left here. Down around and get this other road. Might as well, right? Okay, let's find a new route. Obey the door. Stay left. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Now it seriously isn't going to let me go down here. This is interesting. I wonder if it's just totally messing itself up here. Or if I can just turn, turn in. That is interesting. I wouldn't think it's going to matter, but you know what? I bet you it is going to matter. <laughs> it looks like it's above me here now. See? There you go. But that's okay. Yeah, that's... Well, I don't know. There's a road here, though. There's a road right here. I think it's right here. No right turn. Really? That's a one-way road, isn't it? Too bad I'm going up here. I know, I know, I know, I'm not obeying, I'm not obeying, but you know what, it's just right here. I'm not going to go all the way around. Stay right, <laughs> and then turn right. Silly one-way road. Okay. This is where it ends. Sure is, Frederick. Ooh, that'll be a tr turn right. tricky one. Especially with this huge monster back here. back right in the right in the garage there do ya well we'll try our best but I am not promising nothing so we're gonna get way the heck over here I'll be able to shoot that feller back in there My steering will come off. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, 
There we go. That was too bad. All right, how we do? Not too bad. Fifty-six grand. Woo wee. Continue. All right. Freight market. Let's see. Looks like I've got. Uh, yeah, this is all heavy haul stuff, so that would boot me out of the game. Now, what? Uh, what? 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 What do I get? If I just go to the, the uh, you call this thing access point. What does that give? Probably the same stuff. Oh, no different stuff. Oh, I'm not taking that one. That's so long. That's almost back to where we started. Almost, not quite, but barricade, and that's even further. No, we're not doing that. That is a nice job, though. 111,000 for that. Wow. All the way down to Oxnard. Wow. No, I can't. Uh, can't afford that time tonight. But Maybe next time it'll be there, we'll do that one. That's a pretty good payday. I will back up to the fence here for now. And we'll call it a day. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We had a nice little conversation with the headphones and stuff there. and All that cool stuff. So catch us all later. Thanks again for watching. And you guys have a good day.